Early tourism in the first part of the 21st century would come here in Nepal for the consumption of marijuana or also called ganja. But since the 70s and the ban asked from the US, everything has changed. But now that the US has legalized, maybe it's turn for Nepal to do the same. Should weed, ganja, be legalized in Nepal? Today we are in Tamil, next to what was once known as Freak Street, to ask people their opinion on the subject. So hello, uh, what's your name, where do you come from? I'm Sarah from Australia. Okay. Uh, do you consume marijuana? Um, only occasionally, not often at all, but... Okay. Do you know if marijuana is legal in Nepal? Yes, I know that it's not legal in not Nepal. Legal. Yeah. Do you think uh, the legalization would help Nepal? I'm not sure if it would necessarily help Nepal. Um, I know that in Tamil you get asked if you want weed a lot on the streets. Um, so I know that it is here. Not sure who it would be helping, but yeah. And do you think it would help tourism? Um, I think if people knew that they could get it freely and openly smoke, then maybe it would attract more, more some tourists, a particular type of tourists, maybe. And is there downsides? Sorry? Downsides. Downsides. Um, I think with anything there can be downsides. I think if people were openly smoking marijuana, there could be some... I'm not sure. There could be some downsides to it. Yeah. I'm not sure what. Um, you can't see any downsides for now? Um, not necessarily, no, because I don't think it's a hard drug, so I can't see anything really bad happening, no. no. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. <laughs> will help Nepali tourism? Yeah, obviously it will be help. And if legalization will be active, then uh, a tourist will be secure, the main thing. And uh, they w if they don't have any fare, tourist number of tourists will be increased for the country. That is the main good thing. And do you see any problems that can come with uh, legalization? I don't think so. You know, okay. Thank you very much. Tell tell your opinion to us. So, do you think cannabis should be legalized in Nepal? Uh, sorry. <laughs> do you think cannabis, sativa, weed? Smoking pot? Okay. I don't think so. This is legal. This should be legalized because it is injurious to health, right? Yeah. So I think it should be stopped. It should be stopped. In my views, in my, this is my opinion. And do you think it can help tourism if it was legalized? How could it help to tourism? Attract more people? Um, smoking attract people? No, no, I don't think so. You don't think so? Yeah. yeah. So you're against it because of the health issues yeah. it could cause? It is very harmful to our health. So if you smoke, then it also affects others who didn't smoke the smoke. Yeah? So I don't think so. It's a very good one. And we should stop this. And my, our government should stop this. Okay. Thank you very much. Illegal or legal? Tell us the name. Take on over. So, who is going to legalize? Who is going to legalize? So, our tourists are like, "Oh, Nepal is like, oh, Tamil people tell us, Ramro, who is going to? Is that no one is going to stop them? So, what is it? Tell us the name. Take on over. Who is going to legalize? 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 Welcome. Cannabis should be legalized in Nepal. Yes, I do. Why? Um, what um, uh, What happens if you're caught with cannabis in Nepal? What What is What is the prison sentence? What? So you think it should be legalized everywhere? I do. Okay. And what are the upsides? Um, well. Well, how would it be beneficial? To the country. There, uh, to the country. Yeah. Well, I know in the United States that legalization has um, created a lot of money for California and Colorado and states where it is legalized. I forgot the exact number, but millions of dollars have come into the economy just by the fact that there are cannabis shops on the corners. So I, I get it. You're American. I'm American. Uh, did you know that it was because of the American that weed is not legal anymore in Nepal? 
I did not know that. In the 70s, they asked Nepal to stop selling it for... Why? Because they were afraid it would have a bad reputation on the country and also there was a lot of American tourists that would go in Nepal just to consume drugs. Yes. They would go on a street not far from here called Freak Street and they would spend their whole time consuming drugs. It was called the hippie trails. I've heard of that. Yeah. Yes. What have you done, a hippie trail? I have not done anything. Where is it? It's uh, You start from Europe and you go down the whole Middle East and you arrive in Nepal. And you stop in every big city to consume the local drugs. Oh. Okay. I'm not, I'm not much of a pot smoker, but I do think it should be legalized. Okay. And do you see any downsides in the legalization? I do not. No? No. Only positive sides? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think weed should be legalized in Nepal. I like to legalize it in Nepal. Yeah? Yeah. Why? Because this is the main resource of economic. Many countries open their market for weed and some okay. hashes. So I think that it's good for our country for economical condition. Okay, thank you. And do you see bad sides in legalization? There is quite bad sides. But if we, if we control this, it's better. Okay. Thank you very much. You too. Okay, brilliant. Okay. So hello guys, where are you from? What are your names? Uh, hi, I'm Matt and I'm from the UK. Okay. Same here, I'm from the UK and my name's Ivor. Okay. So do you think weed should be legalized in Nepal? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I don't think it's too a uh, taboo subject because it seems quite, the people around here are quite open about it and if I'm honest it just would be a way for the government to really take control of the situation because a lot of people around here smoke it and it's like I don't think it's a very hidden fact, people don't really care about it, it's, uh, people do it very openly and stuff like that so I don't know by legalising it I think it could be beneficial for the Nepali government and just everyone in general. <laughs> yeah. Well definitely with the government because if they legalise it then they have full control over the market so there won't be any of the like the bad stuff that comes in that actually is not good for you because a lot of it is actually medical and it's very good for you so the, like, the cannabidiol is the good bit in it and that the government can make sure that they have all the good strains and also taxes taxing on it a lot of money from it it's the same with cigarettes like at least because it's not good for you people say why don't you just ban cigarettes the governments want to have cigarettes because they have a lot of money from cigarettes so it's the same sort of aspect I think that should be. I think. And do you think it would help tourism? Um, uh, to an I mean, to an extent, but I don't think hugely. I don't think it will make that much difference. Like people will still come to Nepal because they still have the trekking. So, like, I mean, I, I didn't come here just for yeah. to do anything like that. I mean, I wouldn't even think about that. Yeah. And do you see any downsides in legalization? Um, off the top of my head. Probably not. Probably not. No, <laughs> it's a simple answer. Yeah, well, I hate to say that, but probably not. Yeah. Again, it's, it's just like people will think that, uh, I don't know, it's more to do with like the social aspect of legalising it that's the downside. But for the government and the people, it'll be fine. I think there's a lot more litigation surrounding it with like regards to where people can smoke it and stuff like that. And obviously that's going to be a lot of effort for the Nepali government with the... Um, would they legalise marijuana? However, I don't know, compared to the positive aspects that come out of it, I... Do you guys smoke man? Um, <laughs> probably something I'm not going to say on camera, but yeah. I think that's, that's big enough answer for you. Yeah, yeah. That's big enough answer for you anyway, yeah. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Thank you, thank you. It helps a lot for a country like Nepal, who is economically very... Uh, very poor, you know. If his weed is legalized for a country like Nepal, it helps uh, for the government, you know, for many things like uh, for education, field, you know, health, for uh, for the roads, constructions, you know, it helps for a lot, you know. Like uh, and people also, they don't have to go to Middle East country for the as a slave, you know. They can grow up the weed in a countryside and they can sell for legalize. So they they can. Um, open some stores, they pay the government some tax, it's good, you know, for a country like Nepal. And do you think there will be any problems with legalization? I don't think so, it's going to be a problem, you know, because uh, in Nepal alcohol is legal, because alcohol makes more trouble, you know, than wheat. Wheat is good, for, it's, it's uh, proof in a, middle, in a western country in Europe, it's, they are going to legalize, you know, it's good. Uh, our country have to learn that kind of things, you know, from other countries. And so do you think it would help tourism as well? 
Of course, you know, tourists come here to have a good weight, you know, because uh, our country have a lot of mountains and we have most of the uh, plants are very uh, natural, you know, it's a naturally grow. It's, it's good, it, it helps a lot for tourists, you know. Okay. Thank you very much. No have a nice day. Um, I think that um, legalize it would be um, a good option to, to control it. It's way easier to control it when it's legal because then it's not like a black market or something. Yeah. So the country could benefit from the taxes no? collected by, by wheat if it uh, gets a, a statal a state control? Yes, and I think it's going to be safer if it's legalized. And do you see any problems, downsides in legalization? Um, some people argue that then um, more people would smoke, but I don't think so, because um, in Europe there's one country, Holland, and it's legal there, and they smoke way less than in Germany, where it's illegal. I don't think there's any problem. <laughs> yes, I don't know how much people smoke here yeah. anyway, so, um, but I don't think it's, it's a big problem. Yeah. Where do you guys come from? Um, Germany. Germany? Yeah. Do you f in Germany, is Nepal known for weed or not? Um, yes, it is, but it's not like the, the first thing you think of when you think about Nepal. It's more the mountains. Yeah. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, yeah. uh, no, um, I'm from Mexico, yeah. but we, we don't know anything about weed in Nepal. No, just yeah. mountains, yeah. yes, yeah. and Buddhist. <laughs> and so do you think uh, the legalization of weed can help tourism? Uh, yeah, it may, be, it may be, be a niche of tourism as well, like uh, it happens also in uh, the Netherlands, uh, even now in Uruguay it's happening, so... Yeah. Thank you very much guys, have a nice day. I don't use uh, cannabis, but I am 100% agree with uh, legalization of cannabis, because it's a natural plant, and um, it's not so toxic like uh, alcohol, or like uh, some other kind of drugs. And uh, when someone takes marijuana, he becomes quiet. So why not to legalize? I am 100% agree. Thank you very much, have a nice day. Being from Canada, it's legalized in Canada now, so sure, yeah, why not? Do you see any downsides? No, not really. No. no, America's on board, Canada's on board, not all of America, but some American states, and yeah, I see no harm. Do you think it will help the Nepali economy? Potentially, like if they tax it, I guess, then yeah. Okay, thank you very much. No worries. Yeah, which is better than here. Maybe it's, it's uh, legal in here, we have the good economic status in here, and now which is uh, legal in, illegal in here. Maybe our government, they get, should be legal in here. I think it's a good economic in here. And do you see any bad problems that can come with the legalization? No, I think it's not a bad. But every, most people that smoke the weed, they feel the chill, they feel the good. And so that they have the not uh, uh, bad activities in here. And do you think it could help tourism? Yeah. Mm, most tourists that come in here, they are feel the relaxed in here. And they are enjoyed in here and they want to smoke weed and they feel relaxed.